Hi guys, so here we are. I made a video for you. Those who are asking how to edit the Canva templates that you have purchased from Etsy. So here it is. I prepare a floor plan here. This is the uh, house, but it has to have a two floor plans because it has a two unit. Uh, first unit, this one is the second unit. Yes. But the problem is this file is in PDF. Uh, Canva does not allow us to uh, import PDFs. So I duplicated and I made a copy of it in JPEG files. So here it is. The unit one and then the unit two all in the jpeg uh, files so that we can upload it in canva without a hassle so let's start now i'm here on the etsy website and then i'm going to choose on this canva page for evacuation diagram here is the uh, lowest price that i see this one is uh, $5 for a Canva template. It is for portrait size. And then it is in, it says there that is editable in Canva. And the seller is uh, has a star badge. So we can know that she performs well. And then I'm going to buy it uh, using my uh, PayPal. But you can also buy it using your credit card. So I'm going to add this to cart and pay it using my PayPal account. I'm going to click it now. And after I I did that, after I purchased, here is the uh, downloadable items that they have sent me. It is a two-page. Uh, PDF. Uh, we don't mind the second page. We just need the first page. So here it says we have to click the image so that we can go to Canva. And I, when I click it, it opens to Canva website. And here it is, guys. We have the Canva templates. It says here uh, a template created by RRS Creative. Mm -hmm. Let's inspect it. I think it, this is it. And then you can see it. Uh, there is a sample of the floor plan. And right at the bottom, this uh, purple here, we have to click it so that we can edit the Canva that we have purchased. There it is. It is loading now on the Canva website for editing. Oh, it's working now so here it is the first page we're going to start on the first page it says here try canva pro i think we don't need that since we only have this one for uh, one diagram you don't need to purchase it or have a canva pro so uh, let's minimize this one Right here, I'm going to open the floor plan that I have created in JPEG files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down right at the website to upload. Here it is. It is now uploading. There. It is uploading now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the floor plan to fit in our Canva uh, template. And then I'm going to look at the layers of this. And then I will go to the uh, show layers so that I can put this into the proper layers. 
at the back it will not uh, obstruct those other icons here it is i'm going to resize the floor plan so that it will fit our button needs i am being careful to resize it so as not to cut any portion of the floor plan Here it is. It's taking a shape now. I'm going to minimize this. Okay. In arts, now we can see the template. Okay, I'm going to put now the icons directly under the floor plans. I'm going to start with the running mic. Since it is a little bit smaller, I'm going to enlarge the running man, running man icon, to fit into the floor plan. Just click it and drag, just like that. And then next to it, I'm going to put the arrow, the directional arrows of exit. So I'm going to copy this one, duplicate it. And then put some uh, inside the floor plan. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to put it here at the bedroom too. It's pointing outside, going to the uh, to the primary exit. Then duplicate it and then put it on on the bedrooms. You can also rotate the directional arrows by clicking the rotate icon and you can also resize the icon here And then for this, guys, uh, you have to copy all the, you have to duplicate the arrows if you need more in your floor plan. And the next, I'm going to get the uh, smoke detector icon and put it in the areas where uh, I have a smoke detector and then duplicate it so size it if needed later we are going to get the uh, uniform sizes of this the next is the um, fire extinguisher I'm going to put it at the kitchen because we have it in the kitchen there you are and it's at the sink you know the thing. So there it is. I think it's done. Now I'm going to edit the location of the fire extinguisher. Just click, ungroup, and then uh, edit the location. Okay, it's done. I'm going to center this one so that it fits. And then a little bit lower. It's done. So again, uh, I can edit these other uh, details here, but I will do it later. I'm just going to show you the quick edits so that you can follow it. And then you can make your own uh, diagram since i don't need this other icons i will delete it and then edit also the address here just click it when you see that it uh, turns into blue you can edit that also 
uh, there is a uh, emergency hotline. If your area is not 911, you can edit it. Just click on the dial 911 uh, text and then edit it. Now I'm going to resize it so that I can view the templates and then adjust it according to my preferred size inside the Canva templates. Okay. If this is good, I don't need the uh, page to entry. I will download it later. Now I'm going to download it. What I'm going to do is click the share button at the top. And then I'm going to download it. I'm, I will make sure that it is in JPEG file. We cannot uh, adjust the size and also the quality because only the Canva Pro uh, can edit that. I'm going to uh, download just the page one. So here it is. We are now downloading it. It's loading now. Oh, where it is. This is the complete evacuation diagram that we have just created. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.